clothing? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory, but in this multiple part series we'll be covering everything from royal outfits and Jedi robes to protective clothing and backpacks. Yes, you heard correctly, backpacks. To kick us off, we'll be taking a look at everyday wear in the Star Wars galaxy. Weather and wealth dependent, clothing worn by galactic citizens day to day left nothing to the imagination about their lifestyle. For example, the sprawling urban landscape of Coruscant, which housed thousands of city levels, was sprawling with a myriad of alien and humanoid species, all of which donned a diverse array of apparel, from cheap suits and the green spiked cloak of an immigrant, to floor length robes and vigilante all black outfits. No two Coruscanti ever looks alike. In contrast, the human inhabitants of Naboo valued culture and beauty above all else, and this was reflected in their everyday attar. Textured tunics and draped purple dresses to one side, Pooja Nabri wore a stylish, traditional children's dress made from natural materials. As for Padme Amidala, well, she was known to sport a golden summer medal dress accented with hand-sewn roses. Even when visiting Tatooine, her elaborate yet understated and simple outfit, one with hand-stitched details and silk ribbons on the overdress, still reflected her important status as both a senator and former queen. Of course, it was relatively lightweight in nature due to the harsh desert climate of Tatooine. Speaking of which, Loose-fitting clothes, rough wrappings, light robes and practical overalls were all but essential in dealing with the whipping sandstorms and dangerously high daytime temperatures of Tatooine. These two factors, combined with the harmful ultraviolet radiation from Tatooine's twin suns, left many completely covered with practical materials as a means of absorbing and draining sweat, which is kind of disgusting when you think about it. Likewise, aliens and humans living on Jakku were exposed to blistering heats, but with premium water costs and a desperate need for nourishment at all times, clothing was simply not worth spending money on. Instead, overcoats and cloaks alike were cobbled together from the recycled material they happened to scavenge. Ray's outfit, for example, could be rewrapped to protect her skin from the dangerous elements. Finally, the controlled environment and weather of Cloud City allowed Leia Organa to don a refined leisure suit during her brief visit. It also gave its Baron Administrator, Lando Calrissian, an excuse to flash his extensive wealth with a variety of extravagant capes. So there is a detailed look at the various everyday wear worn by citizens across the galaxy. Make sure to stay tuned for further installments in this mini-series, especially when it comes to the episodes about backpacks. In the meantime, however, let me know which of the aforementioned attires you would quite fancy wearing yourself. If you've learned something new from today's video, be sure to leave a like. To help out the channel last a little bit extra, please do consider pledging to our Patreon page. And for all things inside Star Wars, press that subscribe button and notification bell. Thanks for watching.